Hey everyone, in today's iPhone video, I wanna show you how to set custom app icons on your iPhone or iPad using iOS 14 or later. So as you can see here, this is the camera app before, and this is going to be the camera app after, and I'm gonna show you how to do this with your own pictures that you could take, or you could just get these iOS packs that get you all of these different types of custom app icons that you could use. Now we have to use an app that actually came with iOS 13, but it may not be installed on your phone here. So check for the app called Shortcuts. It's actually made by Apple and download and open it. And we're going to add a shortcut. So to do that, press the plus sign right on top, press add action. And here we need to search for a shortcut called open apps. So I'm gonna look for open apps here. And open app looks like this. It's the second one on my list, but make sure you get the right one, press it. And now we need to choose one of our applications where we wanna change the icon on. So press choose right here. And I'm going to do this with the camera app. You could also search on top. So I'm gonna search for camera. Let's go select the camera app. Now you could do this with every single app too, but you have to do this one at a time. Now with the selected, press the three dots right here. Let's go ahead and name our shortcut. So this is what's gonna show up right under the app. So I'm gonna actually name this the same thing, camera. Press done. And now I'm gonna press add to home screen. And here I could actually change the icon and the name. So where it says new shortcut, I'm gonna press X and I'm going to label this again, camera. And the app icon, I'm gonna press that right now. And you could take a photo, you could choose a photo. If you have some downloaded, you could choose a photo, but I'm gonna actually take a photo give it access to my camera here and take a picture of this camera instead. There we go. Now I'm gonna press use this photo and I'm gonna press add right on top. And let me press done. Let's go back to my home page right now and you can see that's the camera app now. So if I select this camera app, I'm going to move it over next to the other one so you can kind of see the before and after. Now, if I press the new camera app, it's still gonna take me right into the camera app just like that. And I'll put a link to other ones that you could actually download. Some are free, some are paid, some require attribution. But check out this website and you could also Google iOS icon packs and see more here and customize your homepage on your iPhone any way you want. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.